Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog, and we are here with episode 45. Uh, this is freaking awesome. Uh, I can't believe we got this many episodes in like the two and a half months or so since I started this show. I'm um, really trying to crank them out for you guys. Obviously, we're still on the road to a thousand uh, subscribers to see if we can, you know, hopefully beat out this new, you know, algorithm thing and new rules for, for YouTube. And I appreciate everyone out there who's helping me greatly. And so that's why today I was like scouring for news for you guys. And I have a couple Couple little things so I'm gonna make this video and one more and then maybe the third video I'll break down a comic book again so we can do more comic book talk uh, but for today I did want to mention I was at work and I was getting I was working I think I got at work to like 5 45 a.m. this morning and uh, and I was there till noon and I came home and passed right out and it's uh, 6 30 p.m. now so I've been asleep I got like a full six and a half hours of sleep which is more sleep than I've had in a while I mean I think most nights I sleep like an hour or two hours and then I go to work and I'm just dragging my insomnia has gotten really bad I keep having panic attacks at night every time I'm about to close my eyes and it's like I'm afraid to go to sleep or something I, I don't know it's just I get these spells every now and again so it's I've been exhausted like the past couple weeks I've been really exhausted now I've actually slept which it, I feel like really good right now um, and I was waking up to these messages from Venom Gaming one, one of our, our our symbiote friends online here and he was talk, talking to me about um, a, uh, a guy on IMDB so I was like oh okay there's someone on IMDB listed as a mission control operator so I was like alright that's fine I'll, I'll look into that and see what's going on and you know mission control operator the thing about that job title is that it's a lot of times we assume it's for something like space uh, and that actually is you know like a, a title I believe um, when it comes to like NASA and things like that but there's even a title for a mission control operator at like Walgreens um, so, so so it could it could mean a, a bunch of different things uh, it's, it's a kind of a widely used uh, term I guess or job title uh, depending on you know you know what it needs you know or what it requires uh, but a lot of different companies use it uh, these days uh, but so there's a guy named Chris Stein on here who's listed as mission control operator and I hope it is something to do with space because we saw in that image from uh, the Life Foundation that I believe his name was Jeremy posted in Atlanta where he was like at his work they kind of transformed the building into the Life Foundation so he snuck a few pictures in um, and one of those images you saw like a, you know a spacecraft taking off and then you saw um, like it wasn't like an actual space it was like a model of one and it looked like the Life Foundation was like you know remembering a, a big moment in their company's history by having this in their lobby and it was like a spaceship taking off over you know the planet Earth and then there was like another st statue thing that was kind of spider looking and it was like on, you know looked like it was on the surface of either the moon or, or Mars um, and that was my theory that maybe you know they actually sent a unit out into space life foundation and maybe is tied into you know maybe like dr. Carlton Drake's like an Elon Musk type or something where he's like a new generation you know pioneer and he's trying to get you know stuff out into space and explore space um, and I don't know that's just some theories of mine based on those that one little picture um, that's what happens to me I go all over the place <laughs> uh, but I was like oh that's pretty neat you know mission control operator and then I was like looking through more because obviously they they keep updating the, the IMDB page and as he actors that are playing smaller roles get a, a role you know sometimes their representation or them themselves will update their you know what role they're playing and sometimes that gives us information uh, so we I saw another person listed um, as dr. Rosie Collins uh, and I was like oh Rosie Collins I'm like that name Collins sounds familiar I've seen that name a few times um, in the Marvel Universe I think Mike Collins is somebody in the uni Marvel Universe um, but then I came across uh, a, a woman and what's her name? Ellen Gerstein. And Ellen Gerstein is playing Mrs. Manfredi. And that name to me definitely stuck out. So I was like, why do I know that name? Let me look that up. Um, so I, I did a, a quick search of, Mar you know, Mar Googled Marvel Comics Manfredi. And of course, uh, a Spider-Man villain showed up. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. Silvermane. Uh, there's a gentleman named Silvio Manfredi. And he's married to a woman named Catherine, and together they had a son named Joseph. And uh, Silvio's like an older guy. Um, he was a crime lord in uh, New York, and he went to jail for a long time. And while he was in jail, the kingpin took over most of the you know territories that Manfredi once had. So when he was getting out of jail, he looked at uh, a kingpin as like a rival, as an enemy. And this guy, also interesting for all you MCU fans out there who... Are, you know like really getting excited for Tom Holland and possibly an MCU connection in this movie Silvio Manfredi has ties to Hydra <laughs> so um, he he's like a former Hydra guy or mo modern Hydra kind of guy 
Um, but he's an older dude. He's like, you know, not senior citizen fully, but, you know, maybe like 50s. It depends on who's, you know, interpreting him. But there's a point in the comics where he got like really messed up, basically. And he became Silvermane by getting cybernetic attachment. So it's a really interesting looking villain because he's got like, he's like an old guy. So he's got like wrinkles on his face and silver hair. Um, and then he's got like this robotic body. And it's like normally you see that stuff on younger characters. Uh, so yeah, someone went out of their way, you know, to save Silvermane here. He himself went out of his way to say, uh, save himself here. I mean, there's also even um, times where his, I think his head came off of the body. I don't know. They're, they've done a lot of weird things with him. I'm not fully familiar with the guy. I just recognize the name of all things. I was like, man, Freddy. I'm like, yeah, I'm like trying to roll through the Rolodex of characters in my head. And I'm like, it's not popping out. But as soon as I see it, I know. I just, I knew it was a Marvel character. So I got to thank Venom Gaming for bringing this to our attention because even though I went there looking for the mission control guy and seeing what other things were posted up seeing man Freddy was a big find uh, because this could mean that we get a setup in this movie for organized crime because obviously in this movie it's going to be life foundation and, and you know and Treese and all these guys, you know, uh, Carlton Drake, still not confirmed that Scott Hayes is playing Treese, but we were told by Atlanta Filming and, and other people in Marvelous Realm in Atlanta that they overheard that was his character's name. Uh, so this was like, oh, okay, we got some information here. But seeing this, it's like, okay, we have the Life Foundation in the in the, this first movie, and it's, you know, like not really dealing with organized crime, but you know you're going to need stuff for future movies and things that might set up Silver Sable and th things like that. So for all I know, Man Freddy is, you know, all we know is that someone's playing Mrs. Manfredi, so and she's an you know older lady. So I'm wondering if she's playing Catherine. Um, if that's just they were like, hey, we saw the name in the Marvel Rolodex. We just figured we'll name a character that, and we have no plans for the character of Silvermane. Um, or maybe they do, and this is like you know our our first hearings of a little Easter egg in this movie. Uh, but either way, I, I thought that was interesting, and that would be cool to see in like a sequel if, if Venom is against like an established company in this one, uh, and this movie does well that could be neat to see him take on like organized crime in, in the next one um, and have like Silvermane come out of jail and be like, oh great, now freaks are taking over my city or something like that, you know, or whatever. Um, but I just found it pretty interesting and the name stood out and I wanted to bring it to you guys and bring that to your attention. So what do you think? Uh, do you think we might get a Silvermane reference in this movie outside of just like, you know, someone named Mrs. Manfredi? Uh, do you think Silvio will pop up? Uh, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much. Venom Gaming, appreciate it. I'll put the link to your, uh, your channel down below anyone out there want to follow them please do that's the thing about this channel a lot of us are small channels and i want us to follow each other so make sure you follow them down below and i'm going to do that right now then i'm gaming so by the time this video is up you got a new subscriber thank you all so much for watching like share subscribe all that fun stuff i'll see you in the future peace